Go ahead. You're on the air, Scott. Yeah, what's up, man? I, how you doing, Howard? That's Kathy. Right. Yeah, I saw Jackie on the air uh, on Saturday night, Atlantic City. Yeah, I was drinking with him at 3.30 in the morning. Man, were you in Atlantic City Saturday night? Yes, yes. I was. And you were drinking with this guy at 3.30? Yeah. I very possibly no, was. I well, know. he doesn't know if he was there. He oh. was drinking with him. Yeah, 3.30 in the morning. I don't know. He Where probably, was this? He probably doesn't remember. Where was this? Uh, was remember. in the lobby at the uh, Trump Marina. And you could drink in the lobby? Yeah. Oh, it's great, man. You can drink anywhere. <laughs> Jackie, what do you do? That's Jackie. No, we had to, I had two sold-out shows. Yeah, oh. you did. Trump Marina. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, you know? So I didn't start drinking until one thirty, so 3.30 wasn't that late. <laughs> Yeah, it's like three thirty, four o'clock. Remember? You want to go to bed? What? After two shows, why not go to sleep? Six thirty. You were up till six thirty. Yeah. What, the whole gambled? gang was down there. I was. Who's the whole gang? Uh, a bunch of guys from me. Brian Phelps was down there. We, we were. Oh, Brian. The whole gang. Brian. Shizamondo brought thirty people from K Rock. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I heard the Sutter and John got real drunk. That what is it? John made me feel so. <laughs> you know what's funny about Jackie? Like Jackie's like really successful and he makes pretty decent money and everything. Right. I heard him this morning complaining to John that between shows there was no beer and he was all pissed off and he was in his dressing room. There's no beer and he had to go wait at the bar I for a beer. There's always being pissed off. There's I mean, always say anything about between shows. There's always an anger. Okay, Monkey some po at oh. some point there was no I beer in the dressing room. I got done with the second show. There was no beer left in the dressing room, and there's no beer in my room, so I had trouble getting the beer, so I didn't get a beer till 1.30. That's all I said. And he said it took you 20 minutes, you had to wait at the bar. Right. Yeah, I was standing there for a yeah, long time. Yeah, he's angry. Was he's it, always angry. There was angry. no anger. All bull. There was no anger. Then why would you bring it up? Why would you just go get a beer? Why so would you just Because John said how drunk he was, and I said I was pretty loaded, too, and I didn't get started till 1.30. Uh, I don't Who know. Who you were listening with your big ears over there? <laughs> we're back, Jackie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. All right. The whole world revolves around a Budweiser. Right. You can afford a million cases. Go ahead. Oh, if he doesn't get that free beer. Every sentence you say comes back in spades, Gary. Go ahead. And then every sentence I don't say comes back in spades, so who cares? <laughs> yeah, the same stuff happens. Right. I got some You're not any nicer to me if I shut up. <laughs> no, he's always complaining. Like There's always some disservice done to Jackie. Isn't it nice that there were beers in the dressing room? Okay, and probably everyone came in and drank <laughs> beer. It's not enough. It's not, not enough. supposed to read not enough. For his they should read. We're talking about Saturday night, the whole, of, you know, two shows, a big night from Atlanta. Yeah, but it all the whole focal point beer. was about beer. Right. Yes. I couldn't get my beer. Not how great it was to have two sold-out shows. Not Nothing. how well they were treating him. No. They treated me like a king, and it was wonderful. And like the garbage he is, he walks around the lobby drinking I'll with people. I'll give you garbage. Come on. You, you'll always be garbage. Your You're garbage. I'm not garbage. The white trash garbage. Successful garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, like, what are you doing out there in the lobby? Yeah, 20 minutes. It's not the lobby. It's the casino. And you know what? Right outside. I, I don't know. The guy said it was a lobby. You know what? I could have I could have asked him for a beer, but I wasn't going to. You haven't been to a casino. The test. I was waiting. A the test. Lobby. The test. test. The test. It's a test. We're in the driveway drinking the beer. dressing room and we'll go over and over to the bar. You know, I'll probably go back there again, but uh, the next time. It'll be in the ride. It'll be different. They're going to see that I that have to go better be a cooler. <laughs> so I'll, he, I, that's probably why he's sitting there for so long, to make sure they know. Yeah, and everyone that should know that job. Jackie didn't have his beer. I worked with Jackie at NYU, it's got to be 10 or 12 years ago. Right. And, you know, he's doing this big show. It must have mm -hmm. been seven or 800 people. And the most important thing was that there had to be Budweiser in the dressing room. Right. It didn't matter. You know, microphones, what time it went on was insignificant <laughs> yeah. compared to that, that beer in the dressing room. Right. Well, you have your priorities, I have mine. It's got to be ready. You're an alcoholic. Oh, so am I. What news? <laughs> Here's a bulletin. He is such an alcoholic. I never drink till 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, and you stayed up till 6.30 drinking. I want to make up for it. Yeah, if you drink 12 beers and you start later, it doesn't make you any better. And surely there were more than 12 Don't you in teeth five hours. How many... And he writes songs about it. And I'm under again. It's not in the dressing room. Thanks for breaking my balls. It's so Okay. 20 minutes at the bar! Can't remember <laughs> when! What the hell is going on? It's been so much going on! Till the well runs dry! It's 3.30! Where's the well? The tap another barrel! Tap another barrel! What did you guys do for a week? <laughs> That's it. He's the only guy I know who writes, he's the only guy I know who writes love songs to beer. I know. And he's, look at 
how sad it is. You walk to sing along, it goes just like this. Coco makes all way before you die. Coco makes you sleep. Do you cry? What's this? I mean, I wouldn't ever think to write about beer. But you know what he said? You keep talking about this, you'll make this song a hit. I'm like, this song's so horrible, nobody can make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one letter missing from the hit. <laughs> Everybody caught on. <laughs> Everybody. Cold gold makes you old, way before your time. Cold gold makes you sleep right through your prime. Now, it's just to celebrate. Beer just gives you body weight and comes out of your ears before you're drunk. We should make a whole album of this song. Jackie, I gotta ask you, I want to ask Jackie a question. A Jackie tribute album. No. Yeah, like the disco version. I don't yeah. have to Jackie, I'll be totally serious. When you listen to this song from 25 years ago, do you hear it and you go, ah, oh, that was a funny time in my life, it's goofy, or do you still think it's good? It still makes me smile. What do you mean good? It's he still, still thinks it should have been a hit. No, I don't. And he still thinks it is a hit. It is a hit. It's going to be. <laughs> On Long Island, everybody bought it. The jukeboxes. Yeah. It's number one in the jukebox. <laughs> Not that, the, that was the pot song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man. It was another substance I abused. <laughs> <laughs> Beer songs, pot songs. It's, it's different, right? <laughs> it's so different, no one else has done it. <laughs> they call it this is the number one song. This song is done. <laughs> we'll explain to all you people how this outlaw cause us fun. See, pot don't make you older. What came first, the beer songs or the pot songs? Uh, <laughs> the beer song came first. Right. Which beer song? Because he wanted 922 beer. We once had a party with friends from everywhere. Hey, I, 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 you know, Mr. Pot over there, I smoked some pot the other day. I haven't smoked any in so long. You, you are so much more of a substance abuser now. <laughs> so anyway, I, 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 yeah, yeah, please. You really are. Okay, wait a second. So the guy was rolling the joints. Yeah. And the only reason I tried it was because... It was so fascinating. It was fascinating. <laughs> and the guy takes cardboard and makes like a filter tip. So really? it's not quite as hard. So it's smooth. No, so that the end of the joint doesn't get all wet. But that, that, they do that in Amsterdam. They do? Wow. They actually have a little piece of, rolled up piece of cardboard on the, uh, on the on bar. On the thing? What, yeah. what are you up to, man? No, I'm not up to anything. I just took a hit because I saw... I, you keep listening I to the pot song and you can't... No, because, because I was just like, oh my God, look at the... the look at the technology. Look at the, look at the technology going into this rolling of the joint. <laughs> no, I don't like smoking pot. No, just, I don't really... I don't, I don't find it... I don't find it comfortable. No, it just Why a, would you even do it just because there was a filter? Because the filter it. blew my mind. <laughs> There's just such a long period of time where you were so dedicated to not drinking or anything, and now here you once in a while you have a glass of wine. Or once in a blue moon. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not like Jackie right. where it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm, and you're trying to drink to make up for the hours you quit. 6.30 right. in the morning we're eating. It being for God's sake. What time was it? Can you imagine what he must have been like at 6 o'clock oh, in the morning? please. Smelly, drunk. But she still stinks. And you know what, Howard? In, in all seriousness, Jackie has really reeled it in a lot since, say, like ten years ago. I know. I mean, he used to drink so much more because he feels a little uh, better about himself. Yeah, I always oh, remember no, the I story don't. Gary tells about him like hanging from a lamp oh, out in oh. California. He, we <laughs> dropped him off at a hotel, and there was an awning, and the limo pulled away, and I looked in the rearview mirror, and Jackie was swinging around. He had his arm on the post. He was swinging around. Right. Fred was with us earlier in the night, and Fred was so embarrassed, Fred left. Fred got in a cab. It's the only way to drown out all my sorrows. Fred, left. Fred always leaves. No, no, no. Fred said he was really... Fred said he was, was that true, Fred? Yeah. He was that embarrassed? We were at... Totally. How, totally. What was he doing? He was just out of hand. We were at the RCA record. Uh, that was, was that the same trip that we tried to get into his room? Yes, same trip. Okay.